Well, welcome back. Tomorrow is round two of the high school football playoffs. The Normal Community Ironmen are hosting Bradley Bourbonnet under the Saturday Night Lights. Normal Community has not lost a game since round two of the playoffs a year ago. Uh, but the undefeated Ironmen know they must be sharp to beat Bradley Bourbonnet and march on to the state quarterfinals. Well, I think when you look at them, number one, they're playing a really tough conference. They're playing with all the Lincoln Way schools. They're playing Lockport. They're playing all those guys. Uh, so week in, week out, they're playing really, really tough opponents. Uh, two, offensively, they have a really talented quarterback that can run and throw. Two dynamic running backs. Uh, three really good receivers. Number 11 is outstanding as well. Uh, they get off the ball well up front. The Washington Panthers host a familiar foe tomorrow in Class 6A. For the third time in six years, Washington plays Crete Moni in the state playoffs. The Panthers had several sophomores on the field two years ago when Crete knocked Washington out of the 2021 20, playoffs. Those sophomores are now seniors, and Washington is a very, very confident team. I think our kids' confidence level is pretty good. Um, defensively, we've had a great season so far. We just need to keep that up, too. I mean, defense has either scored or set up scores to help us out in winning games. That'll be a big thing on uh, this Saturday when we play with Crete, because Crete, the last time we played them, we struggled a little bit with them on the perimeter. And the Normal West Wildcats are facing the same second-round opponent as last year. Normal West is playing mighty East St. Louis. East St. Louis beat Normal West a year ago on their way to the state title. East St. Louis, again, a big state title favorite this year. We'll have a camera down in East St. Louis as Normal West looks for the mighty upset tomorrow of the Flyers. We have an all-central Illinois matchup in Class 2A. Undefeated Bloomington Central Catholic hosting once-beaten Farmington. Central Catholic coach Kevin Brott says he knows all about Farmington because he watches football Friday on 25 Sports. Yeah, we show these guys all the time. They're both conference champs. They have dynamite quarterbacks, Colin Hayes for Central Catholic, Wayne Wheelwright for Farmington. This should be a terrific game tomorrow in Bloomington. Yeah, super impressed by what they do, um, both offensively and defensively. Obviously, their quarterback is a very dynamic player. Uh, big up front on both sides of the ball, physical football team, uh, well coached. It's a November tradition. Tri-Valley plays Wilmington. Two years ago, Tri-Valley lost at Wilmington in the state final four. Last year, Tri-Valley beat Wilmington on their way to the state title game. Tomorrow they meet again in a round two matchup worthy of a state title game. Well, I mean, you got to be physical. You got to be physical this time of year, take care of the football. Um, you know, I think the team that is the most physical and takes care of the football on, on Saturday should come out on top. You know, obviously they're, they're going to come here upset that we, we beat them last year. Tomorrow is one of the great high school days in Peoria. The state cross country finals are tomorrow at the famous Detweiler course. The gun goes off at 9 a.m. for class 1A races. The girls at 9 a.m., the boys at 10. The 2A races are at 11 and 12. The 3A races at 1 and 2. The Morton boys and Washington girls are both chasing trophy dreams tomorrow. Eureka Elmwood, Normal, Uhi among the other teams with great goals and runners. Good luck to all our runners. Congratulations on making it to Detweiler in November. Stay up overtime with us tonight, Friday overtime at 1045. That's exclusively on 25newsnow.com. I think we have highlights of a police escort coming home for the Morton Potters. 25newsnow.com at 1045. Peoria Riverman tonight taking on Quad City. J.M. Piotrowski scores a goal right here to cut the lead to one, but the Riverman lose tonight to Quad City by a score of four to three. All right, Jim Dandy time. I got to get through this one, all right? 18 years ago today, my wife Angie and I were blessed with an unbelievable daughter, the baby of our family, Tyler Matson. Let's go to the gym, Dandy. Tyler today playing in the super sectional, and what a moment for her and her great friends are going to the state finals on Tyler's 18th birthday. Happy birthday, Tyler. Me and Angie, my wife, absolutely love you. Our Jim Dandy. 